We're back with Viva today, our week-long celebration of Hispanic culture and heritage. The Billboard Latin Music Awards are in Miami tonight, airing live on Telemundo. And Natalie's going to be a presenter and caught up with one of this year's big nominees, Mark Anthony. Hey, Nat, good morning. Hey, good morning to you guys. That's right, Mark Anthony's performing tonight. He's also a finalist in several categories, including Artist of the Year. You know, he sold over 12 million albums worldwide, but don't call him a crossover artist. He says he's a proud American raised on Latin music, and I caught up with him here in Miami in a place he calls his sanctuary. Well, you live like right there, right? Yeah, I live right here. We found Mark Look Anthony at his port in the storm. <laughs> As the rain fell, we talked to him on his boat. Well, this here is your sanctuary, though. Yes, it is. Your man cave? Yes, yeah, it's your, my your man boat. cave. <laughs> this is my absolute man cave. I could be on stage in any, yeah. any country, and, and just I'm holding a note, and I'm just literally just, I'm here. The star has been practically living on the stage for the past year, crisscrossing North and South America on tour. But he says crisscrossing borders doesn't make him a crossover star. Do you think there's a day where we're not going to be using crossover as a term anymore when we're talking about Latin music? It's become the status quo. Oh, yeah, crossover. From where? Where do you mm -hmm. think I'm from? I was born 102nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan, mm -hmm. New York City. All right, so I'm crossing over. In other words, you don't belong here, but it's good enough for us to accept. I, 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 I just never got that. I just don't recognize it. Mark started singing not long after he learned to walk. When did you start playing? When did you start singing? I was a baby. I, I yeah. um, literally a baby. I was three years old when I started singing with my wow. father. And my father, I'm a good mimic, and I'd imitate my father singing these songs about hmm. you know love lost and here's three year old. <laughs> Los dos estamos idos de la mente. I'm like, what does this three year old know about you know? She did what to you? I swear. You know. <laughs> All grown up now and a huge success, he's launching a new venture called Magnus Media with the goal of forming alliances between artists. There's a way to structure the industry to where there's one standard for every artist. I don't care if you're number one or number ten. It's by artists for artists. He'll be among Latin music's top artists tonight. So you're performing at the billboards. Can I you? am. I know you can't tell me what yet. I, you can't? I heard that. I can't. Really? <laughs> but he did give us a taste after all. Okay. Hey, okay, ready? Okay. Mm. There we go. He said, Pongo la gozadera. Ah, that's a sneak peek. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Those, that's for tomorrow's yeah, song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got to play for you, already. Okay, yeah. okay, I want to hear it. Yes. She got Fantastic. Oh. Girl got moves. Oh. So there you got it. Just a teeny tiny little glimpse at what he will be performing. It's a big collaboration here tonight at the Billboard Latin Music Awards. Also tonight, Jennifer Lopez is going to be one of the highlights. She's going to be performing a tribute to Selena on the 20th anniversary of her death. And I'll have her interview here tomorrow on Today. Guys, back to you. Uh, Natalie, thanks so much. And don't worry, we'll probably never show that dancing footage again. <laughs> oh, yes, we will. Okay, again, thanks, Natalie. And you can catch Billboard Latin Music Awards on Telemundo tonight.